22 off the timeout. Oh, look at this, a little Wildcat action. Bouncing to the outside and diving towards the end zone. Did he get in? He did! Touchdown from Mepham. Downfield blocking, he's the reason that this is a touchdown. Dylan Dunn at a Wildcat. Here comes the block. Right here, boom. Ooh. And here's a, a handoff to Lavoti, and he gets down towards the goal line. Touchdown. And they're going to call it a touchdown right at the goal line. Lavoti all the way down the right sideline, and he is in for the score. Well, listen to me carrying on about how it's hard to convert a first and 20. North Shore says, yeah, take this, Ben. 48 yards the other way for a touchdown. Lavodi, who, by the way, recovered that fumble. Lavodi's doing it all today. He is doing it all. Oh, look at that. He almost lost the ball there. The ball popped loose. He was able to get it back. Hayden O'Connor on the bottom, on the right side. And here's a keeper by Riley around the right side. He's got a first down, still going inside the 30, inside the 20. There he goes, inside the five. Touchdown, Cold Spring Harbor. That's a backbreaker. There's no other way to say it. Let's take another look at this. It's a track meet at this point once it gets through the line of scrimmage, and there's not a Seaford Viking that could catch up with that speed. Fakes the handoff. Look at a completion. And how about this one for Carey? After all of that confusion, it's a touchdown for the Seahawks. And a long one at that. And you could see sort of how the Garden City defense was bouncing around. Guys weren't sure where they should be. Great fake by Metzger. And look at this. Right over the middle, right through three different defenders for Garden City. First and 10 from the 25 yard line. There's a pass to Ivy. Ivy gets to the outside, and as we said, Ivy, first play from scrimmage, scores. 75 yards to the house. Goes to show you what both of these coaches said, right? Ward Melville, even in the regular season game, that they had a long drive, a sustained drive on their first one to score. And then Walt Whitman needed about four plays. This time they need one as Ivy, as Batoni finds Ivy. Ward Melville, they need to get in the end zone. Oh, a little trickery here as well. Here's the pass by Dolan. Touchdown for Ward Melville. Frankie Carroll on the double pass. Watch it again. Prusin back to pass. There he finds Dolan. I tell you, Dolan is a great athlete. Big time lacrosse player. That's a hell of a throw as well finding an open Frankie Carroll in the end zone. 